On today's episode of Glow Trotting with Trey, learn where this picture of Elvis and his girlfriend was captured at in Memphis, Tennessee. Stay tuned. So here is a picture of young Elvis Presley, around 14 years old, with his first love, his first girlfriend in Memphis, Betty McMahon. And this picture was captured one afternoon or morning or early evening of Elvis's life. And we're lucky that a neighbor there at Lauderdale Courts named Margaret Cranfield had a camera and captured this moment for us to enjoy on this episode all these years later. But Betty said that Elvis' mother Gladys and her mom were friends and Elvis's mother forced Elvis to meet Betty. He and Betty just hit it off. And Betty said that Elvis was a pretty quiet person and he didn't talk much, but uh, he started combing his hair a little differently when he was my boyfriend. It was right here. Betty said that Elvis started combing his hair differently when uh, they started going out with each other, but they would hang around the courts and sit outside on the grass and go to the movie theater down the street, the Suzor, as stuff that Elvis liked. She also said, and I like this, she said that Elvis liked that she could play basketball. So Betty must have been a really good basketball player. So, hey, I might have liked Betty, right? I also found out that Betty said that Elvis tried to kiss her one time and she pushed him off of her right before he could kiss her and he about fell out the third story window on Lauderdale Court. So I'm glad uh, Elvis didn't go out the window that day because, you know, we needed to hear his music about, what, eight, nine years later. But yeah, this is Elvis and Betty McMahon. Of course, she would find some other guy that she liked better than Elvis and unfortunately break the king of rock and roll's heart. So where in the world was this picture captured at? Well, it was right here. Now the interstate is running alongside out front of Lauderdale Courts, but that land is where Elvis was sitting at in this picture. And I can prove it, and I'll show you a shot that I can prove it for with. But yes, Elvis and his girlfriend was right here and across the street from Lauderdale where he would enter into his apartment. So after Betty broke up with Elvis, Elvis started dating her neighbor and friend, Miss Billy Wardall. Here's the grave site in Oxford, Mississippi of Elvis's second girlfriend there in Memphis at Lauderdale Courts, Billy Wardall Moneyham. Thought you guys might like to see her grave and learn her story. Here's a few more of her stories. And Billy said that she first talked to Elvis outside her window. She was living on the third floor there at Lauderdale. And Elvis asked her to come down and play, and she said she couldn't. He said, why not? And she said, because I don't have any proper clothes. So later on, she gets a knock on the door, and she says that Elvis is at the door holding something that it looked like some kind of package behind his back. She says, I, I knew he was Elvis because I just talked to him from my window. And we were standing there in the doorway talking, and finally he took this package from behind his back and said, here, I brought you something. I opened the package, and it was a pair of blue jeans the first pair of blue jeans I ever had. And Elvis said, now you can come play with us. Now you have some clothes to wear. So she said she got another knock on the door from Elvis one day and he handed her a box of cherries. And she said he must have paid 50 cents for them. And uh, he told me, these are for your Christmas. You can't eat them until then. After that, we started walking to school together. Billy said that she asked him once if he would teach her how to play the guitar. So he brought his guitar over and showed her where she would, you know, put her fingers to play it. And she said that one afternoon that her mom and her were walking back home from where Billy worked at from downtown, and Elvis was outside picking his guitar. His mom and his dad was sitting there on their quilts listening to him. We knew he could sing, but I don't think he ever thought he was as good as a singer. He was really embarrassed of a lot about his singing. Once my mother told him, Elvis, you sing so good, you ought to be as singing on the radio. Billy, too, would break Elvis's heart, saying that she met a sailor one evening, and uh, Elvis found his picture in her wallet. He was very upset. He grabbed the picture out of my purse and began stumping and grinding it into the ground with the heel of his shoe. 
Billy said that after Elvis's first record came out and that he became famous, that she went to a concert at Ellis Auditorium. And after the concert, she said Elvis gave her an autographed picture and he had wrote on the picture to Billy, my little ex. The only time I saw him after that was one day I was riding a bus home from work. I looked out the window and there was Elvis driving alongside in a convertible. I stuck my head out the window and I yelled, Elvis, Elvis. He looked up and was surprised to see me. He yelled at me to get off that bus and that he would drive me home. So I got off and got in his convertible with him and he drove me home. And during that drive, Elvis told me, Billy, I have changed. I am not like I used to be. Elvis never had anything when I dated him. He was poor. He was as poor as I was. Had I ended up staying with him and marrying him, who knows? He may have never had anything. Even today, sometimes I will think about him and I really get mad at Elvis. And I say to myself, Elvis, you are just a year older than me. You don't have to be dead. So it says that she passed away on May the 3rd, 2008. But yeah, this was Billy Eugenia Wardlaw Moneyham, who was Elvis's ex-girlfriend. Let's investigate this picture one last time. Here's Elvis and his girls sitting on the sidewalk. The road that you see uh, before Elvis and um, Betty is Winchester Avenue, and it ran right in front of Lauderdale Courts, the apartment building that Elvis, Vernon, and Gladys lived. Elvis and his girls just right across the street from their entrance, and look behind Elvis and his girlfriend. You see a home. There's a little porch right directly behind Elvis in the background. It looks in the backyard of this home. It's like a shack or another building or another home that you can see because it kind of seems like there's a window on top if you, if you look over uh, at the very top of this picture. And of course, there's a building right beside this other home on this sidewalk. So this that's kind of like a little alleyway, I guess you could say, but there is a building in the background. So, you know, you can't see trees or anything, but it's blocked by another uh, structure there. So look at this historical aerial from 1958. There's Lauderdale Courts, and I'm moving it toward across the street. Now look, go to the dot com on the picture. Look, there's two cars parked there. You see the little two dark car spots? The home where Elvis and the girl is sitting is past that second car. Now you see the roof. You can see the roof of a structure, and then you see a, a roof of another structure, and it kind of looks like it's a little co catty corner. And then you see a structure, a long, some kind of long home or building in the background. And that lines up with this picture behind Elvis that you're seeing on screen where it's like a shack or it could be another home. And by the historical aerial view, it's telling me that it's actually a, another um, home behind that one that you see in the picture with Elvis. Now check out this one. I have put the uh, 2020 roads in uh, over the uh, 1958 map. So you can kind of see where everything uh, lines up at. And the red that you're seeing is I-40, the interstate. And you see right there across from Lauderdale Courts that we're zooming in at, can you see the two cars from the previous map that I showed you? They're in this picture, and you can see that the ramp that leads up to I-40 goes right over those two cars. And it pretty much lines up perfectly with Winchester Avenue. So that shows me that the sidewalk that you see uh, in 2020 is pretty much right where the sidewalk was where Elvis and his girlfriend was sitting at, which is good for us. Good for us because we know that land <laughs> was the land that they uh, are on in the picture. But yeah, you can see that. So if you're on B.B. King Boulevard and you go past Lauderdale Courts and you turn right there at the corner and uh, where Elvis lived at in his Lauderdale Courts building and you go right to get on the interstate, just remember, you're going right past where Elvis and his girlfriend Betty McMahon was once upon a time in their lives. That picture was right where you're driving past every time you're on this um ramped to get onto I-40 there in Memphis, Tennessee. Somewhere right there on that land, 
Elvis once said on the, in this picture, once upon a time in his life. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about Elvis Presley. Please like this video and share it with your Elvis friends. And if you haven't already, don't double dribble. Subscribe to Clothes Riding with Trey. It's free, it doesn't cost you a thing, and you stay updated with every new video that I upload, which is once every Tuesday and special ones here and there. Until next time, I'll see you down the road. Thanks for watching.